In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change primary market on Shopify after going live. Once on your Shopify dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on settings. After selecting settings from the drop down menu option, you are going to tap on markets. After you have tapped on markets, you can see at the moment the active market that I have is Jamaica and you can see the international market right here. You have a few options. You could either select international. After you have done that, from there you can activate your international market by tapping on inactive in the top right hand corner. From there you could tap on active. So now you'll be able to add or use the international market as your primary market as you can see right there. After you have done that, you can tap on product and prices. And from here, you will see the products that are currently on your website. And you could add or you can exclude a particular product from the market if you want. You can also go back. And from there, you could set up shipping for this particular region by tapping on shipping. You'll be able to set up the different shipping rates or you can keep it as is. And if it is a case that you like to adjust the taxes, you can also do that. So now that I've made it active, as you can see right there, so I've tapped on active and then I'll tap on save. You can see that the international market is also active. If it is a case that I like to add another market, I can do that by tapping on add market in the top right hand corner. From here, all you'll need to do, you can add your market name. So for example, test market. Then let's say, for example, my test market will be African countries. All I'll need to do is simply select a few countries right here, just for example sake. After you have done that, you can tap on add market. And then from there, you can see that I've now added another market. All I will need to do is simply configure the shipping. And then from there, I'll tap on inactive and I'll turn it into active. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.